Hi guys, I hope you all are doing good. Today, I want to share some Samsung Bixby routines to save battery life on your Samsung smartphone powered by the Samsung One UI. Okay, so the Bixby routines are uh, in there almost all the Samsung smartphones and this is one of those features that you probably don't know about or you have uh, heard of it but you never tried using it. But believe me, if you use the Samsung Bixby routines in a right way, you can do wonders on your phone and you can actually unleash the real potential of your smartphone using the Samsung Bixby routines. Okay, uh, today uh, since I'm going to talk about the Bixby routines to save the battery life only, so I'll focus on uh, that one aspect of the Bixby routines only. And before I tell you about the routines, make sure that you have hit the subscribe button, help me reach 100k subs and also uh, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and you can actually reach out to me on Twitter or Instagram if you have any kind of queries. I have deleted all of my routines for now so that I can show you how to add the new routines. Uh, first of all, let me show you how to elongate the battery of your phone when your battery falls below a certain level. So let's say if your phone's battery has dropped below 40% and you want to save the battery and you want the 40% to last for as long as the 60% lasted, uh, you can actually do that. First of all, click on the add routine button right here. So you can see that the routines uh, get triggered based on if and then. Uh, so if a certain condition is met on your phone, the then condition is triggered and this is how they work. First of all, you have to click on add and here you have to select if like I did and then you have to search battery, battery level. If battery level is below 40%, uh, then we want to trigger certain actions and these are going to be a handful of actions to elongate the battery. Click on then and now first of all click on power saving and turn it on. Press the plus button again. Click on always on display and you have to turn off the always on display when the battery falls below 40% and this is also going to save a lot of battery. You can see that the always on display is now off. And now the next thing is you have to change the resolution of your phone. If your phone's resolution is QHD, I suggest turning it down to uh, Full HD when the battery falls below 40%. Click on screen resolution and then click on FHD+. So if the battery is below 40%, the screen resolution switches down to FHD+. Press on the plus button again. And now here, uh, find the refresh rate or the motion smoothness and uh, change it to standard when the battery falls below 40%. You can see that when the battery falls below 40%, uh, the refresh rate goes down to standard, which is 60 Hertz and the screen resolution goes to FHD+. I think you can just remove the screen resolution uh, routine because the screen resolution and motion smoothness can be triggered via this one routine only. I would definitely like to add a few more things here. Just uh, go back and press the plus button and when the battery falls below 40%, I would like to enable the dark mode on the phone. And I would also like to turn off the Bluetooth because the Bluetooth definitely consume a little bit of battery. And I would also like to turn off the location if it's not necessary. Remember that you can uh, just create some exceptions in some certain uh, cases these are not hard and fast rules. So you can see that now when the battery level falls below 40%, the phone will automatically turn on the power saving. It will turn off the always on display. It will uh, turn on uh, the standard refresh rate or switch back to the standard refresh rate along with the full HD plus resolution. The dark mode will be activated and the Bluetooth will be turned off and the location will be turned off as well. And let me add uh, another important uh, routine here. You can just drop the brightness level down to a certain level. Let's say uh, I want to drop the brightness to 40%. The brightness will stay restricted to 40% and the adoptive brightness will not work. The brightness will uh, just stay restricted to a certain low level. And this is also going to add uh, a lot to the battery life of your phone. Okay, these are all the routines that I added if the battery falls below 40%. There are definitely some other uh, uh, routines as well that you can add and I am just going to do that. So for example, uh, I am sleeping and I don't want the certain things to happen on my phone. And this is how I am going to do it. 
if i am sleeping the phone can automatically detect when you are asleep then i want to turn on the do not disturb mode remember that do not disturb mode uh, can actually save a lot of battery on your phone by uh, shutting down all the notifications and all the sounds and then i also want the phone to once again turn off the always on display and similarly i want the phone to turn off the location and the bluetooth as well and if you just want to save uh, more battery while you are sleeping what you can do is you can also turn off the mobile data the wi-fi and all other such uh, actions can be disabled especially when you are sleeping uh, here i would also like to another routine that uh, i also want to turn off uh, the sink while i am sleeping the auto sink should stay off auto sink consumes a little bit of battery and if it stays off while i am sleeping it's definitely going to help the battery of my phone there is another routine that i would like to add here it was sent to me by uh, one of the subscriber joswin uh, he was kind enough to share this routine with me in the twitter inbox and the routine is that uh, if you are using a certain application on your phone for example uh, if the app is youtube uh, or netflix or if there is any application that does not require 120 hertz refresh rate you can restrict all such applications to 60 hertz refresh rate which is the standard refresh rate and similarly if there is any application that does not require the uh, qhd resolution you can restrict such applications to use full hd plus resolution as well and this is an other very good way to save the battery life on your samsung one ui device uh, but the bottleneck here is that you have to create the bixby routines for all applications one by one this is going to take a little bit of time but the results are definitely worth taking a note of with this sleeping routine you can actually also add uh, another condition that if the phone is not charging while you are sleeping only then you want these uh, certain routines to get triggered but it's entirely up to you if you want to add the not charging status or you want to just uh, trigger these actions regardless of whether uh, or not your phone is charging at that certain point you can see that now i have added the charging condition as well so you can just remove or play around with these if conditions the way you want and that is pretty much all with these uh, quick samsung bixby routines to save the battery life on your samsung one ui device i hope you guys found this video useful if you found it good enough please make sure that you have hit the subscribe button and like this video as well also if you have any other routine to share make sure that you drop it in the comment section down below with that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.